Hello guys, welcome to What the Crypto. This is Christian Rinas here, and today I'll bring you a quick tutorial on how to stake coins. Uh, you know, on a VPS. This is not like actual VPS. This is part of Amazon. It's it's called Amazon Web Services. Um, but yeah, you actually have like a BV, BPS, uh, which is a virtual private server, um, which you will be running. It will be running on their server. It's like a having like a desktop account on on Amazon server. And you can do this to have your wallet online 24 hours, like every single day of the month, every single time. And it's free as long as you comply with the free trials offers. So now let's get into it. Um, I'm gonna do it quick right here. Uh, I'm gonna let you know guys, I'm just gonna be using uh, coin called Bancoin, so I'm going to be using that as an example. I already have a wallet running. So I'll walk you through this so you guys can actually do it. Uh, this process will actually ask you for a credit card. It's not to charge you, it's in case you actually surpass whatever the amount of hours uh, you spent running, which it's, if I believe it's like 750, it's equal to 31.5 days, but you can have more than one instance um, running. So that can potentially you know, lead up to more usage of hours. Uh, but if you use only one instance, you should be good for the month and, you know, all the way up to you decide you, you're not going to do it or the 12 months ran out. So either or. All right. So let's let's get into this. Um, I'm going to be using a temporary email. Uh, this one right here. All right. So I'm back. I finished putting all the passwords and everything. Uh, everything's all set up. So let's continue. All right, so here it's gonna ask you for all the information. You can either ask for personal and all that. So I'm not gonna fill this one out because I already have an account. Um, I'm gonna ju just go straight to where you guys are gonna be making the page. So just fill that out. Next of this, uh, it's gonna ask you for the credit card information and all that. And once you're done with that, um, you're gonna be right where I'm gonna show you, okay? so. Let's move to that. All right, so once you're done with a credit card and everything, this is where you should be popping out. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna create an, an instance. So you're gonna uh, choose the EC2. You're gonna choose this one right here. We're gonna build it. All right, we get started with this one right here, EC2 instance. Let's Put a name on it, uh, test. All right, so in my case, I'm familiar with Windows. Uh, you got more options. This is this will be like the operating system that you know will be running on the background. So I'm gonna use Windows, but if you guys have Linux or Ubuntu, which is something like Linux, or oh, there's more options right here, but I haven't tried them, so I'm just gonna go with the Windows. Go next. T2 Micro. That's what you can take for the the you know the free trial. So it will give you 100 gigabyte. Oh, not 100. One gigabyte of memory, eight gigabytes of storage. You know, you got one one RAM, eight gigabytes of storage, and one CPU. Uh, so. Yeah, it's it's decent. It's you will see it when we run it. It's not run. It doesn't run as fast as an actual computer, but it's it's real decent. All right. So now you're gonna create a key pair. So right here, WC test. We're gonna put that on desktop. All right. Now we go right there. Okay. So. Now we're just waiting. It's actually just creating the instance for you to get into. It's real easy as once you get the hang of it. All right, it's all done. So now we proceed to the console. All right, so we have this one right here. We got test, so this is what we're gonna do. Um, it's running right now. We just got to wait until it 
it's fully synced in and all that. So we got to wait until that initialization, initialization. All right, you get it. But yeah, just wait until that's done. Um, and then we're going to hit connect. Um, there might be some problems trying to connect the, 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 the remote system. So if you get like an error or something saying that you cannot pair or something, this is what you're going to do. You're going to go into this page right here. You're going to go to actions, networking, and change security group. There's a couple. So the one that works for me is this one right here. So you can actually add that one and then just wait and, and hope it, you know, it, it works for you too. If not, you can just try them all out. All right, all set up. Now let's get into it. So this is what we're going to do right now. We're going to hit connect. We're going to get a password. So, oh, sorry. We got to download the remote, the remote desktop file. So we download that one. I'm just going to save it to the desktop and then get password. So we're gonna choose the file that we saved uh, and I'm gonna pop right back to you guys as soon as I got it all set up. So now you hit the crypt password. Once you selected the file, you decrypt the password, it will give you a password, you just copy that one. And now we open, we open this right here, we hit connect. It's gonna ask us for a password. So I'll be back to you once it connects. So we're here. This is your new instance right here. So now this is what we're gonna do. We only have uh, Internet Explorer. So we're just gonna get uh, Chrome and this is gonna be a little bit of a pain. Down, download Chrome. Cause this is gonna be a pain. All right, forget it. We're gonna do it with uh, Internet Explorer. So we just add, close. Now let's get down into, oh boy, here we go. Close it. Let's get down to the wallet. So as you guys can see, it's a little bit laggy. Um, where is it? White paper rolled up. Use contact. Where the heck is the wallet? Sign. All right, let me just open up the whole thing. All oh, right, here. So we're gonna download the Windows wallet. Add. Add. Close. All right, this is taking a little bit. So I'm gonna take it to my personal one for you guys to see. You guys already know where to go and what to do. You guys just download the wallet or download Chrome and then the wallet because Internet Explorer sucks. But all right, I'll take it to my personal instance right here. So here we are, guys. Uh, this is the overview of my uh, current Bancoin uh, wallet. So yeah, I actually downloaded Chrome. I got the wallet set up. So this is, I own, I downloaded the wallet. What you guys can do, it's two things. You can actually just send coins from one place to the new wallet that you're gonna have here. Or in this case, I know how to get my old wallet and that's what I did. So what you do, this is for Windows only. You're just gonna hit um, run. Wait, just wait. All right, so this is what you're gonna type in. This is for, this one wallet right here. Let me just close the MD. All right, so you just run the app data. And this is where we're gonna put you all the apps running on the on this instance right here. So you go, for example, in this wallet, and this is with this wallet and platform only, this will be bank. So I open the bank uh, folder and this will be my wallet here. So if I do that in my uh, personal you know, instance where I actually have my computer, my operating system, not the server one, I can actually copy this file, this will be my wallet, and just upload it to somewhere like Dropbox or something and actually access it from here, download it, and then just replace the file with this one and then I will be having my wallet. So right now, this is where I'm at. 
this is where I'm staking right now, and it's been running since the 25th. But yeah, uh, I, I'm not spending a dollar. It's 12 months free, so yeah. Um, hopefully, this was of a help for you guys. Um, I'm going to be uploading more videos uh, about a couple of things that you know might actually help the community because this thing with the uh, proof of stake coins, it's a little bit of a mess. People don't know how to do it without leaving their computer running, which costs a lot of money. So this is an alternative for at least 12 months. You can actually be uh, mining with, you know, staking coins and it's for free. So hopefully you liked it. Um, please subscribe to the channel underneath. Uh, there's the little bell uh, notification. Just turn that on. If you subscribe, I'm going to be uploading videos uh, like every two, three days. And yeah, hit that like button and hopefully you find yourself help with this video. All right, guys. So as for now, peace out.